Hello, my name is Tiet Tanman and I'm from Cyprus. Today I will show you the way how Estonian EAD system works, how people can uh, use their government issued EAD to uh, uh, prove their identity to different service providers, uh, to authenticate themselves, to sign electronic documents, as well the concept of doing the same thing for cross-border transactions. I can use my EID card, which has been already inserted in my laptop, to log in into different online services. At this present moment, I'm logging into Signway's uh, digital signing portal in order to authenticate myself uh, to the service. I am uh, expected to enter my authentication certificates uh, bin one, which I just did and uh, now the certificates are validated. Uh, to do that, uh, uh, there is no other kind of external service providers needed than just government backbone to give the response that yes, these particular certificates are valid and these are for T-Tanman. And I see that Signware Service recognized me as T-Tanman uh, do the service as well. In order to do the electronic signing, there are a couple thing, uh, simple things I, I need to do. First of all, I need to select the document I want to sign. I might want to sign already a uh, document uh, uploaded to the service, or I can sign as well totally new document. In my case, I would like to sign totally new document. In order to start the signing transaction, I should kind of get the service, uh, the document, uh, uh, there, I have prepared one test document, which is uh, uh, named TA. Uh, I can review the document, download from the active link, and I see that this document, this test document, having uh, three sentences, Estonian language, written, di digitally signed, English, and Azerbaijan language. So. That's okay. If I want, I can change as well the name of the container, but in my case, it's not needed. And uh, uh, for signing, there are kind of two options. First of all, I can sign the document just myself, but I can sign the document as well when sharing it uh, to my uh, invited party. In my case, I will uh, use uh, my personal email address for sharing the document uh, and I will sign the document as well from uh, uh, directly from the portal as well. And now uh, what I'm doing is I'm adding additional permission control information to the uh, share, uh, sharing transactions. So and the receiving party who received the notification that he's expected to sign something uh, will be validated against that number and this number I know is in the certificates of the person uh, getting the uh, document share. So it looks like, yeah, okay, sorry, there has been one typo. Uh, the control code. And now I have uh, uh, basically prepared the inviting another uh, person to the document. And I can sign the document from my side. For doing that, I need to use the certificates of my EID card uh, again, but this time I'm not using authentication, but signing. And for that, I'm expected to add uh, uh, bin 2. And the bin 2, after entering, is, uh, is initiating a document signing electronically. Now I see that Signware Service has recognized that, and uh, my digital signing has applied, and uh, I can change as well the deadline of sharing the transaction. In my case, I don't want to change anything. I'm just sending out the notification. Regarding uh, the document which I, I just shared, I see that uh, uh, I am the owner from Signwise, and it has been shared to uh, Gmail Dharma. Uh, when going into my email account, I see that I have received uh, signature requests. I can reuse it. I see that 
T. Tanman from Signways have invited me to sign uh, document TA.B. Uh, which is um, the document uh, uh, signed. And I see that there are certain things I need to do in order to uh, get access to the document to sign it. To get access, I need to first to click the active link. And I see from the screen that in order to receive the document physically, there is authentication needed. Okay. I have received signature request. I see that uh, in order to get access to the document, I need to authenticate myself. To authenticate myself, I need to use my EID card or mobile ID. And uh, I have uh, initiated uh, the authentication transaction. I'm entering my PIN 1. And uh, after my uh, personal identity is validated, I'm getting access to the, to the signing transaction. I see that there is... Uh, uh, active link for the physical document. I can click on that, uh, review the document. Yes, this is the contract uh, I'm going to sign. Uh, I see that uh, the owner of this document is Tee Tanner from Signwise. I see the signing deadline uh, within the period of the signing transactions is open to me. And I see that there is uh, one digital signature already on the, on the document. And then I have the option either to decline the sign if I saw that something is wrong in the, in the signing or if I'm okay with the document uh, or contract or uh, purchase or what, whatever, I just uh, initiate signing transaction. I'm entering my PIN 2 and uh, document gets signed. So regarding uh, this signed document, everything was done online. So we, we, seen that, uh, we saw that I was able to upload, I was able to uh, sign inside the service, I was able to invite somebody. Now if I want to validate the document signature, not just online, but use offline validation, then Estonian government have provided a special tool called DigiDoc, and on that tool I can see exactly the same information. So, and uh, within couple minutes what we have spent now, two parties have actually signed the, the document. In Signwise we have implemented the service at the moment uh, to support six countries. So in essence we can have uh, six contracts in six countries in six minutes. So on top of uh, digital signing of electronic documents, uh, or e-signing electronic documents, I can use the same uh, EAD card for different type of services. In particular case, I will show how I'm logging in with my EAD card into government portal. And the, this is kind of central government portal uh, to uh, access uh, all information related to my my. So now I have logged in into Estonian government gateway, which is uh, uh, combining all my uh, information related to my person, to my uh, documents, and as well there are a lot of services I can, uh, I can get when, when talking about uh, uh, government services. So I see that uh, there is uh, my personal data, which is uh, kind of the uh, by what government is, is uh, contacting me. There is my EAD card information, there is my passport information, there is my home information, which is public information. There is my healthcare information, my family physician information, and that's all my underage children. Uh, and if, I'm, if I would like to kind of uh, use any of the services from uh, government portal, then they are uh, categorized based on the need type. Or if I'm citizen, I have citizen services. If I'm entrepreneur, I'm ent entrepreneur services. And if I'm public official, then uh, there are public official services. As well, my EID is a token to, to be used if I would like to represent the company as well. So actually, I can be in uh, in state portal, not just my uh, private person role, but uh, I can represent these four companies as well. If uh, 
if needed. And all these uh, transactions which I'm going to do or uh, application I'm going to do, again, I'm signing these with my uh, e-signature, uh, with my EID certificates, and all these transactions are legally binding uh, from my side, and they are uh, from government official sites, uh, uh, kind of mandatory to accept and uh, uh, electronic document with, with e signature is equal to the paper document with pen uh, signature. And yeah, on the services side, you can see that there are all sort of uh, uh, all all sort of uh, information. And currently there should be a couple thousand uh, public services which are available to be accessed uh, uh, through, uh, through the portal. Uh, regarding health information, uh, I can close the inform health uh, uh, information uh, if I, I, I wish so then uh, None of the doctors, none of uh, anybody else can really access that. If uh, I wish, uh, uh, then I don't close it, and then if needed, uh, the doctors will get access to that information. As well, there are services uh, to query about the queries about my data. So I can see through the platform that somebody has accessed my data, and I, I can Im immediately ask why you did it. So I am kind of big brother for government, and they are relatively well behaving. So in the early days, there has been certain cases that people wanted to see physical data of, of private persons without uh, a permit. Lately, as there are a lot of uh, control mechanisms, uh, then, then and, and I can personally see as well who has access to my data, then the, the misuse have uh, dramatically decreased. So the transparency gives a lot of additional trust to the system, as well uh, eliminating the possibility for corruption, etc. The, the, there are currently only two things in Estonia what I can't do electronically. I cannot marry electronically, or marry and get divorcing, and I can't get mortgage. So everything else I can do electronically. Uh, let's say all the systems are interconnected with, with each other based on the need for data. So if traffic uh, uh, registry or vehicle registry needs some, some, uh, some information and it's residing in some other government systems like uh, uh, private person uh, uh, address where, where he lives, then uh, the vehicle registry can't ask the information from me, but needs to rely on the information he gets from uh, uh, population registry. And, and the same is that if business registry held certain data, then if some other system needs that data, then they can't ask from entrepreneur, or, uh, entrepreneur but really getting from, from that system. So I, as a private person, do own the data, and I do have the access to all of Based on the court orders, all the data can be accessed. But there should be certain uh, reason behind the data can be accessed, and uh, there, are, there is a uh, good enough monitoring system to really prevent that uh, the mi misuse, because, because all the institutions, they are responsible for the data they, they carry. Uh, the integration mechanisms are, are providing the access to that data for me, and the the EID card is uh, kind of my key to the, my data vault. So I can open that vault with my EID and with, uh, uh, with, the, with the concept of one person, one identity, I can be truly me in, uh, in these online services.